What's going on, my boys? Yo, it's been a little while since we had Super Smash Bros. news, but this is obviously because the game is pretty much at a conclusion, and we're sitting on our hands until February where we get that final DLC, and hopefully Wolf is included in that bitch. But anyways, we ain't talking about Wolf today, surprisingly enough, even though I know the deadline is on its way. Trust me, I got those nut sacks racked up. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for you dudes. But anyways, in terms of Smash Bros. news, we have something very interesting which pertains to the NX, and this is something that everyone's been asking me to talk about today, an article which seems to detail Super Smash Brothers as an NX launch. And baby, baby, this is what I was saying from the beginning, my boy. I was saying how, like, I feel like the NX is somehow going to be able to play the older games of the Wii U, but not in a way where, like, they're totally brand new or revamped, but just like it'll have compatibility. Maybe it'll be back compatible. But for them to say that it's going to be a new, let's take a look at this in detail before I have an orgasm right here in front of you guys with you have no idea as to why I'm doing so. So anyways, there's apparently a rumor, Bandai Namco, which as most of you guys would know, is a big part of the development team of Super Smash Brothers. They help Sakurai a lot with um, a lot of assets and other things as well too. They're a big part of that development for the game. Um, they're making several Nintendo NX games, including Super Smash Brothers for launch. And by the way, dude, I apologize if I look a little bit tired. My sleep schedule has been all over the place, man. You know, you, you go out one time, or you stay up with friends one time, you have a lot of fun one night, and suddenly it just throws the entire equilibrium of my um, sleep schedule to completely off. But anyways, so this looks relatively interesting on the outside, because it apparently lists Smash Brothers as a launch title, not even only as a backwards compatible title, but as a launch title for the NX. Something seems very interesting here. So let's take a look at what the My Nintendo News article is saying. I've already taken a look at this myself, so you know, there's not gonna be any first time reaction stuff here, but we're gonna go through it together once more regardless so you can see all these details for yourself. Anyways, now this is actually a tweet from someone who seems like they know what the hell they're talking about when it comes to leaks of this nature. They seem really sure of themselves on Twitter. So anyways, Dr. Serkin Toto, who is an, an <laughs> what the fuck? Dr. Serkin Toto, who is an analyst and consultant in Japan, is reporting on Twitter that Bandai Namco have a variety of games in development for the upcoming Nintendo NX platform. And speaking of which, I know everyone's been asking me to talk about the NX, but there literally has been nothing in terms of what Nintendo has confirmed or not. There's been a lot of rumors from certain companies that seem to have some kind of clout, but all in all, we haven't gotten too much. We're starting to get too many rumors for it and not enough actual leaks. There's a difference between a leak and a rumor. A rumor, okay, anyone can say it. If they seem like they're reputable enough on the outside, it could very well come to fruition, but a true leak, whereas someone who we know really fucking, like, we haven't gotten that in my feel yet, but of course, obviously, we'll be able to backtrack if, in case, you know, any of that information does come true, but so far, a lot of it sounds relatively accurate to what we had our speculation of for the NX in the first place, the fact that it's going to probably be a console and a handheld at the same time, there's going to be two parts to it, it's going to have really good specs, ones that can even beat out the PS4 and the Xbox One, this is all things that we're hoping will come true, and that we kind of expect with the NX, considering that Nintendo's president, um, Kimishima, seemed like he, he kind of seemed like he knew where Nintendo needed to go with their next platform after realizing the places that the Wii U kind of fucked up in, you know? So I, I trust Kimishima. I trust that motherfucker. That nigga knows, <laughs> he knows what the hell he's talking about, my boy. I, tr I trust that boy. But anyways, Toto even goes as far to say as there's a Super Smash Bros. game planned for the system's launch. Very interesting wording there, and this is something that we always make sure as Nintendo fans to get down packed 100% precise all the time, especially if it's not being translated from another language, the wording and the context of these phrases from these sources of these leaks, or these rumors rather. Anyways, it seems unlikely that it would be a brand new Super Smash Bros. game, of course, but maybe an enhanced port with all the DLC included, who knows. But either way, I'm glad to see that there's going to be some major incentive to pick up Super Smash Bros. on the Nintendo NX, whatever the hell it is, whenever the hell it comes out. All in all, it's going to be a great move because they need to figure out a way to somehow implement the Wii U with that new Nintendo NX hardware architecture because the Wii U kind of got cut short, even though it's understandable because the Wii U kind of didn't really do well in those first few years. I only picked up Steam this year. Um, I still feel like the Wii U is a great console overall, has a lot of awesome titles for it, but it just never really took off the way that Nintendo hoped it would. So the fact that they'd be able to maybe carry over some of the most amazing titles on the Wii U as a launch for the NX and add a little bit of an incentive bonus in there too for people buying it on the NX, 
how good of a move could you make, Nintendo? Because that one is one of their best right there. If this is true, that is. Anyways, let's see the Twitter post he made. Bandai Namco is currently developing several NX titles. Smash Brothers is planned to be a launch title. I'm not sure about the date yet. And then if we go on his Twitter, he further confirms, to follow up on my last tweet, I have not heard if it's a completely new numbered Smash Brothers or not. Otherwise, source situation is solid. That's some really strong terminology at the end of that tweet, my boy. So what kind of sources does this guy have? Apparently it says he's a believer in Japan. We all are, my friend. <laughs> CEO of Tokyo-based game industry consultancy, Kantan Games, code.jp. Okay, I play more games than you, most likely. And um, MBA, PhD, god damn, this dude. All right, so he seems like he has a lot of accolades. He might just know exactly what the fuck he's talking about. It seems like he does. But to see this kind of a confidence when giving off something that could be considered a really big time spoiler for the Nintendo NX in terms of how the hardware would work and what future titles come for it, I love it. This nigga's ballsy as hell. Keep the information coming, my boy. We want to know. I would love to know more about the Nintendo NX. And even though I'm not talking about it as much as I was beforehand, that's only because we're getting a lack of information now. Nintendo needs to start putting shit out there. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of playing the waiting game. Now, the, the, one of the biggest concerns I've had with the NX besides the whole friends list thing and deleting multiple friends, I know, that's a silly joke that I'm keeping up, but in terms of my actual hopes and expectations, I really do hope that the NX comes with a portable part. I know a lot of people don't prefer portables when it comes to gaming and they feel like the portables are going to die off. Um, Rich of your View Tech USA, he also feels like portable consoles are eventually, well, portable handhelds. Uh, I call them portable consoles at this point because those things are capable of amazing visuals on par with consoles of not too many generations ago even but anyway rich of review tech usa doesn't feel like portable consoles will really go anywhere i have to disagree with him i feel like nintendo has a foot in the door bigger than any other company right now they're the only ones that can truly turn that portable market into something special of course because of their exclusives let's be real but i mean they have the creativity added on top of it as well too the 3d okay that was a little bit of a fluke didn't really work for everyone and the most well, I, I feel like the majority of people that use the 3DS don't use the 3D. Even with the new 3DS, it's significantly improved, but I don't use that. But the NX has to bring something new to the table as well, too. As much as I guess people would want just a powerful handheld device for the NX in terms of the portable version, I would love to see some kind of new mechanic thrown in there as well, too. Maybe not 3D, but they gotta throw us a curveball. Make it powerful, and then make that thing able to do something totally grandiose, brand new, that'll catch everyone and their moms off guard. But then again, that's what Nintendo's been doing for years. Sometimes not as successful as others, but we know for a fact that the NX is going to be a unique system at the very least. And anyway, I think we got reports earlier that state the NX is going to be totally removed from the Wii U categorization, the Wii category. Organization. So excellent move on there too. I mean, Kimishima. That's why I'm saying this. That boy Kimishima know what he's doing, my man. That boy knows what he's doing. He said, oh, "Okay, we're gonna move completely away from that family of stuff. We is done with us and Nintendo future platforms and whatnot. From now on, what we're going to do is make something that's going to appeal to the consumer in the best way, in the most contemporary fashion. So the NX, that NX, that next <laughs> dude. I'm hoping and praying." that with any other games that are big on the Wii U, they bring them over within the same fashion as Super Smash Brothers. I mean, how great would it be to have the, like a, 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 a great library, like a great Wii U um, launch lineup for the Nintendo NX, which includes Smash Brothers, includes Bayonetta, includes Splatoon, and all those other massively popular um, titles on the NX, excuse me, on the Wii U, like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X per se. There's so many to name, so, it, I think it would be very beneficial, especially considering we have Star Fox Zero and potentially Zelda Wii U coming up in the future. Great move. This needs to continue. More leaks like this, more rumors like this needs to happen on a regular basis since Nintendo ain't doing shit. And hopefully they talk soon, man. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. It's been a little while since I've done a discussion type video like this, but I want to know what your thoughts are on this, on Smash Brothers kind of being confirmed by a very certifiable, seemingly leaker or um, someone who knows what they're talking about at least when it comes to stuff of this nature in the industry i like it uh, do i believe it 100 percent? i mean no we shouldn't per se but this guy seems like he knows what he's talking about and i haven't seen a single post leading up till now that seems to question his his knowledge on this or to seemingly put down his credibility so let's roll with it if it's false in the future oh well but we know for a fact that the nx is still going to be a slobber knocker regardless i'll talk to you dudes i'll talk to you boys my boys you ain't boys you're my boys my boys and i'm your boy all right i don't mean that in a derogatory fashion 
you my boys, I'm your boy, okay? I'll talk to you guys later on. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. I'm going to go get some more sleep because I look tired as hell in this goddamn camera right now. Peace out, dudes.